Hailey Bieber has found a new way to relieve her anxiety. On Sunday, the 26-year-old supermodel revealed on TikTok that doing a cold plunge helps her with her anxiety. The Road Beauty founder shared a video of her submerging herself into ice-cold water in a plunging pool, which she says she does for at least 30 seconds. In the clip, fans can see Hailey practicing her breathing as she adjusts to the icy cold temperature. At the end of the video, she holds her nose as she completely submerges herself underwater before getting out. Cold plunging has helped me a lot with anxiety and overall mood, the model captioned post. The practice is said to have many health benefits like reducing anxiety and inflammation, and several stars like Zac Efron and Lady Gaga do it. Haley's latest video comes two months after she celebrated the one-year anniversary of her heart procedure. At the time, the model gave fans an update on her Instagram story, saying in part, quote, A year later, I'm feeling healthy and strong. One month after her prior hospitalization, the model opened up on social media about the health incident, calling it the scariest moment of her life. Definitely the scariest moment of my life. I had so many things running through my head. The number one thing being I'm having a stroke. I'm really scared. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this is happening. Am I going to have permanent issues from this like so many things were running through my head that um were really freaking me out and really 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 scaring me so basically they did some scans and they were able to see that i had suffered a small blood clot to my brain which they labeled and categorized as something called a tia i'm gonna try to put the definitions of everything i talk about under here so that i don't butcher it Basically, it's like having a mini stroke. It definitely feels like having a stroke, except my body was able to resolve it pretty quickly. And then I didn't have any more issues for the whole rest of the day and the whole rest of the time that I was in the hospital. I felt really thankful and grateful for that, that it wasn't worse. Um, I wasn't gonna have any permanent issues, but you know, my scans did show that I had a lack of oxygen to a certain part of my brain for a certain amount of time. Still definitely really, really scary. So when I was in the emergency room, they kept me overnight. They did tons of tests. They did blood tests to see if I had a clotting disorder or if I had an autoimmune disease or they, they did everything. And anything that they could think of, they did.